Okay, so I've recently got a run cam split and uh, I've been running one of these for a while. These two quads are identical. Um, and I've been running a GoPro Hero 4 on top and uh, HS1177, whatever, all that stuff. And it weighs in at, these are totally identical quads. Aside from now the split, this one's 511 grams. And with the split installed, same everything else ready to fly is 436 grams. So considerably less uh, weight. Um, the way I was able to fit it into the uh, QAV-X or the X Real ACC X210 frame, um, I've put uh, my 4-in-1, my flight controller, and then the split board is all in there with uh, six millimeter tall standoffs. Uh, I had to cut a little small section of the frame out here on these uh, plates to be able to fit the last standoff bolts on. And I mounted the camera with the three-in-one tape uh, and it actually gives a little bit of vibration dampening. It's mounted in there at mm, maybe a little bit more than the the standard angle that the X210 comes with. Maybe 40 degrees or so. I believe this one's 30. And I had to stick my, uh, my VTX on top. In the HD footage, I am getting ever so slightly the blades so I am already thinking about how I'm gonna fix that because I don't like the blades in view so uh, we'll get there but I'll show you some flight footage which I thought was okay uh, sound is terrible on this um, but I'll leave the sound in um, the VTX not the VTX the FPV camera is definitely not quite as nice as the HS1177. Colors just weren't there, saturation or something wasn't as nice, although I haven't even hooked it up. So for all I know, I'll be able to make it uh, run a whole lot better. So I'll show you some flight foot footage and then I will show you a quick time-lapse build that I did of the conversion from this to this. Okay. 